So in this video, we're going to take a look at Newcastle's oldest pub, the Old George, which is just off the cloth market near the big market. And it's been around since about 1582. But I'm going to do this video a little bit differently because we're going to walk there from where I live, which is Wardley and Gated. And it's about four, four and a half mile door to door. And on the way, we're just going to catch up on a little bit of Newcastle United crack and other little points of interest on the walk, which is along the Keelman's Way. It's coming up. about a 10 minute walk from mine it's uh, you get down to the Rotine and by the River Tyne and Bill Key is Bill Key Community Farm and I'm looking at right now the Bill Key Cafe and I did a video there two or three weeks ago if you haven't checked it out check it out I spoke about something mind-blowingly amazing so don't miss out on life check it out and over here is Bill Key Farm these lads look a bit bored thank you all well, I'm on the walk, I thought I'd introduce me two dogs. The one lying down there on the right, uh, she's called Lily, she's seven. And Setu on the left, S-E-T-U, he's four. So I got, I've had them both since puppies. Um, I got Lily from uh, when I was living in the lakes. I lived in the lakes for about 13 years, up until about 2016. And I got her from a farm just outside of Cockermouth, where I lived for about eight or nine years. And Setu, um, I got him... Uh, from a family litter in Gated, and his name is inspired because it's a Nepalese dog name, Setu, inspired from my trip to Nepal in 2017, where I went to the, I went to Nepal for six weeks and I did Everest base camp trek, and then I did four weeks volunteer work with kids, and it was just a, just an amazing experience. And the homestay where I was staying, they had a family dog called Setu. So when I come back from Nepal, and I got Setu as a puppy, uh, uh, in honour of my trip, that's what I called him. So this is the Keelman's Way, which runs along by the river on the gated side. It's part of the Sustrans National Cycle Network. Don't scratch the surface of my knowledge, but uh, I believe uh, the Keelman's Way stretches to Wylam. And directly across the river on the Newcastle side there, you'll see a, a blue railing. Uh, that is all part of the Hadrian's Wall National Footpath. That's not actually where the Hadrian's Wall is, it's just the footpath as part of the route which I've done and uh, I've got a couple of videos which I've done a few months ago if you want to check them out. So first bit of football news, Everton played Arsenal last night in 1-2-1. Quite funny though, after 27 minutes some of the fans walked out of the ground in protest because they haven't won a trophy for 27 years. Can you believe it? Oh, there, there, there. Come here, give us a big hug, you haven't won a trophy for 27 years. Try being a Toon fan. We haven't won a domestic trophy for 66 years. So just imagine the inconvenience if we have a protest on 66 minutes and fans are walking out, some of them are going to have to leave five minutes later than normal. Newcastle have drawn Cambridge in the third round of the FA Cup to be held on Saturday the 8th of January, 3 p.m. kickoff, and I think they're guaranteed to bring five or 6,000 fans up. It's going to be their cup final day, so make sure you check out my video for that because they're going to be jumping when they get up here. I'm going to find them in the pub and I'm going to get in amongst them. So check the video out. But even in Chronicle, what you're doing? You've put the headline, Newcastle Draw, League One, Minnows. You're a Newcastle-based newspaper and you've just set us up for a massive fall. And show some respect to Cambridge. Come on. Brilliant news. It was announced yesterday that the Sports Direct signs are being taken down in St James's Park and not before time. They should all be down by the Man City home game a week on Sunday. Absolutely chuffed a bit. So I'm about two miles in, about halfway. That's the, uh, right by the riverside there, that's the Rivers Hotel, which I think's closed down at the minute. And the Friars Goose Sports and Sailing Club right next to it. And on the ground floor of the Rivers Hotel on the river front, um, there's a cafe in there, which is closed down now. Um, I used to love going in there. And they've got, they used to employ staff with learning disabilities. And I just thought that was fantastic. Other big football news yesterday was the saga of Michael Emanalo in relation to being uh, touted by Newcastle United as the next sporting director or director of football. And by all accounts, he was um, he had discussions in Saudi Arabia at the beginning of November. And that led to further discussions and uh, by all accounts, their visions didn't quite match. And 
Anecdotally, it suggested that Michael Aminalu pulled out of those discussions. That led to an article in The Telegraph yesterday by Matt Law, who stated that uh, Michael Aminalu turned down the offer of jo joining Newcastle United. That resulted in a quick fireback tweet from Mehad Gadusi, Amanda Stavely's husband and part owner of Newcastle, where he said he was never offered the job. I don't know exactly what's gone on, and I per perhaps we never will, but I am concerned because clearly something's gone on. And it goes on the back of what happened with Unai Emery three or four weeks ago. And don't get us wrong, I'd pick Eddie Howe over anybody. Um, I'm chuffed a bit I've got him. But talking about the Unai Emery situation, it was apparent that uh, Unai Emery and his representatives weren't really fond of Newcastle United's board's bedside manner and we got a little bit concerned and, and he pulled out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I hope, um, I know Amanda Stavely said they're going to be making some mistakes. And that's great that she's open and honest about that. Um, but I'm hoping these sort of things iron themselves out and uh, we'll find a healthy way forward. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So the old George, the oldest pub in Newcastle, been around since 1582. And famous because uh, during the Civil War back in the uh, 1640s, King Charles I was held as an open prisoner there by the Scottish army who controlled the town at the time. And um, he was there for his own protection basically, so he, he was allowed to just roam around. And he used to go to the old George for drinks. Uh, apparently the chair that he used to sit in is still in the room at the pub, which is uh, the, called the room, the King George room. So hopefully I'm going to get in to see that. Apparently there, some, some staff have said that they've seen the, the image of uh, King Charles sat in that chair and other customers of staff had a feel of um, that they've been watched and apparently the ghost of a man with a dog at the bar. So during that time, it was a six month period that King Charles was um, in Newcastle within the town walls and he stayed at Anderson Place, which was a, a big stately kind of country home at the time within the, the fortified boundaries of the town wall, which was quite unusual. That building's been, obviously been demolished and gone now, but it's been replaced by what's known as Grey Street. And uh, Lloyd's Bank, I believe, is the building that used to be the site of Anderson Place. And uh, here we are now on the gated quayside. I just never grow tired of being on the gated quayside, sorry, on the quayside generally. It's just such a beautiful place. So other interesting facts about the Old George is that it's a grade two listed building, but also has TV, TV's in there for live sports so you can watch the match and it's also got a five-star rating from scores on the doors so not only is it just a beautiful pub inside and just you know dating back to the 16th century but it's just it's modern as well you can watch the footy and have great food and that big building there in the middle of my screen that's uh, Newcastle Crown Courts and I've got a few of you have seen the inside of that building so I'm going to turn the camera off now as I walk through the quayside with the dogs on the lead and up to the big market and uh, up to the old George. So I'll see you in the pub. It's a 6 95 special. I went for the fish finger wrap and chips. Get it. So on Sunday at 2 o'clock kickoff, Newcastle are playing away to Leicester, and I'll be doing uh, similar what I did with the Arsenal match. I'll be doing a, like a mini pub tour in the Haymarket area this time. I think we're going to finish at Trent House. So along the way, we'll, uh, we'll talk about the match and I'll do a little bit of history on the pubs that we'll go into. So hopefully, you'll find that entertaining, interesting, and informative. Uh, the last video I've done really well. so. If you want to make sure that you see it, don't forget to subscribe so that you get a notification when I release these videos.